you are a WordPress developer or designer, and this video is very useful for you. In 2020-24, stop using XAMPP because XAMPP is full of errors and this is an old technology. If you want to install WordPress in your local host or your Windows or any operating system, the local WP is the best software right now. You can easily install the WordPress on your local host as well as you can create the, the temporary live links. I mean, you can deploy your projects and show your clients within just a second without any domain and hosting. It provides you a uh, temporary domains that do your clients can preview your projects and you can easily fix the errors without deploying on the live hosting or live domain. So let me get started how we can install it. First of all, you need to go on the local WP website, click on download. And here you just need to select the platform. For example, for me, it's for Windows. And here you just need to enter your information. Just select the organization. You can select any organization here and just click on get it now. Within few seconds, the download will be started and you just need to install this within few clicks. This software will be installed just like the other software you installed on your operating system. After installation, you just need to go here in the search box and search for local. You will see an app with the icon of local. Just open that up. This local WP installer or dashboard will be open to you. Here is the plus icon. Just click here and start installing WordPress over your local host. So you just need to select a create new website or you can extract your already built website here. So here is the two options. Click for, uh, create from blueprint and create a new website. So I will say create a new website. Just click on continue. And here you can just name it uh, any name that you name for example and this is a local website okay so here you can also set the local domain here so you can say it pk skills or any domain name here that it you see is different so here you can also select the location where the files should be installed okay just click on continue and here is the preferred the mysql and you can also select the server php version and database so i just select preferred and just click on continue and here you just need to enter your wordpress username and password and click on add site after a few seconds the site will be ready for us you can see our website is ready and wordpress has been installed so here you can see wp admin login so just click here to access that dashboard you can see here is the login detail that is required the enter, enter the details that we recently created for example admin and i have added the password so you can see i have accessed the wordpress dashboard you can visit the live link in the local host so this is actually the local host link that we access via our computer now we go back into the software and if you want to access the database so i can just click here in the database and just click on open enviro and here the database will be accessed you can see uh, the tables of all the tables of this uh, database has been accessed. You can select the DB. The DB name is local here. So these are the tables that we have in our database. Let me go back. And if you want to access the files of this uh, installed WordPress uh, on WP local. So you can just click here. Go to folder. Site folder. Sorry. And here you can see the file here uh, just to open that and here is the uh, folder so just click on app in the app just click on public so you can see all the files of the installed wordpress is here so you can easily access all the files or make editing that you need okay we go back and if you want to share the live link of this local wordpress website you can just click on tools and click on live links so these links you can share with your clients so make sure your live links should be turned on and here is the live link uh, this is the temporary link so you just need to click here copy the, that link and open the browser paste this link sorry paste this in link into the browser and check this this link is working so it here it will ask for the username and password so here is the username and password so this is the username and this is the password 
copy that and paste here so just click on sign in so these information you can share with your client to access the website you can see this website is accessed you can see this is the live link of the website uh, which it is uh, shareable to your clients so you, the, the clients can easily see your progress and website live just like you share on your domains and hosting so this is the very very best tool for your uh, the wordpress developers designers that are using XAMPP because XAMPP does not provide the live links and many other facilities that the WP local provide you. I hope you like this video and if you like this video please subscribe my channel and if you have any issue or concerns you can comment below. Thank you so much.